What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster for the PC. I'm here in the Castle of Ball throne room. And as for Castle of Ball, there is three chests to get here and one item to get here. One of the chests are right here. Hero Cocktail. Your Majesty. Don't forget to take the teleport spell with you. The barrier is blocking all access to Big Bridge. Without a Windrake, there's no way you can get near Xdef's castle. Teleport. Alright, so there's one more chest here. There's also another item here as well. Popo! Lady Krill can speak with this Moogle as if it were a person. What a mysterious talent. Lady Krill is such a good kid. She's got a big heart. Same as the king. Can't sleep in the bed. Okay, we don't want to use the Windrake now. I'm guessing that will advance the storyline if you talk to Krill there. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet, of course. If we don't destroy x Death, he'll destroy the world. When King Galaf warped using the me Meteorite, it seems an accident happened and he lost his memory. Most likely the weapons and armor he took with him were destroyed as well. Hmm. Castle Ball has a long and rich history. It might be Bao as well, Castle Bao. I think it's more than likely Bao. Now that I think about it. It is so old. I don't even know all the secrets it holds. Curse that Gilgamesh. Our troops have been decimated thanks to him. Imagine getting decimated by Gilgamesh. Don't get me wrong. He's pretty epic looking, but that's about it. <laughs> Push all you like. That door in the basement won't open. Here's where we can use a tent here. Head downstairs here. Okay, so you can't access this door, but you can get random battles over here. And a good spell to have in this area. Actually, I need to have learning too, because we can learn a particular blue magic here as well that we could have got earlier. Uh, Death Claw. I could have got it from the Carnet Castle Escape, but I was not able to get it in time. I had to defeat the enemy quickly, and or I would have ran out of time. So, unfortunately, I was not able to learn it sooner. And the enemy we need to fight in this area is the statue. This, as you're here, these are it right here. So these things, actually, I think, is these is this the right enemy? The names have changed, so I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. Lovely, they have break. It's like, yeah, you can use a gold needle on them, by the way. Oh, wait. Yeah, they die, yeah. I was about to say, like, what's going on? Shouldn't they die from that? Yeah, no, this is like one of those weird enemies where you can kill them instantly with a gold needle, which is very strange. Oh, 
Also, you can use level 5 death on him as well. And level 5 death will instantly kill him. Well, obviously. Uh, the good news about this enemy is they give very low amount of EXP, which is actually a good thing because you don't want to over level or whatever. And they get four ability points. Well, if you fight two, they get four, but if you fight multi if you fight four of them, you get eight. And there's five of them in this battle. Holy crap! Apparently, you can get Death Claw from these enemies. Though. I don't know how to get it though. Lovely. I might have to use a gold needle here, guys. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to... Take all of them out at once. I need to learn Death Claw, though. Gonna use Azuna there. I'm not sure when they use Death Claw is the problem or how they use it. I'm not sure. But it's a very weird enemy, like probably the weirdest enemy in the game, just about. I need to figure out how to get him to use Death Claw. Oh, maybe we gotta control him, maybe. I might try that. I might try to get a Beastmaster out here. This this battle will give us 8 AP though. As you can tell. And Galif mastered counter there. They also give a decent amount of gill too. So you can farm gill around here too. But if you're looking for EXP this is not the place. <laughs> Obviously. EXP is very bad in this. Um, place here which is actually a good thing like I said oh crap I forgot to I was gonna switch to uh, a beast master to try to control him but I forgot I'll try to defeat these enemies very quickly here in a little bit um but I want to get the, the blue magic ability first. I want to do control. There we go. Oh, crap. Seriously? Come on. Why well, do I have to be five of them? I mean, I guess it's a lot of AP, so I guess I don't mind. Eventually, I'm going to want to do level 5 death on these things instead of wasting the gold needles, but at this point, I can't really handle all of these at one time. Bit too much to handle. Okay. Go ahead and use the gold needle on Galif there because I need him to be able to take the. Yes, there it is. Death Claw. Use it on Galif. What? No! It doesn't have enough MP. Seriously? Ugh. So you gotta control him before they. Oh crap, that doesn't kill him. There we go, now we kill him. So annoying. Yeah, I will be farming these things because I want to try to get 
uh, Master Ranger as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, I'm running out of gold needles. <laughs> I do have to control the one that hasn't used a spell yet, because they only have enough MP for one spell. So... I have to be a little bit careful here. I need to... Come on, I need, to, I need to do it in this battle because... Okay. Alright. So now we need to give him these Death Claw. Not enough MP! Maybe use an Aether on him? There we go. Hey, you gotta use ether on him. Okay, now we attack him. Wait till he turns around and use a gold needle. There we go. And now, so I gotta do a level 5 death on these things. Galform Death Claw, nice. And if you need to heal, you just go upstairs and use a cottage. Which is obviously very inefficient because uh, cottages you have to go buy or whatever and you can't really buy them at this point in this castle or whatever. Anyway, to quickly take these enemies out, I'm going to set up blue magic and I'll show you a setup here. Set the speed to very fast. You probably want to set this to active, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on wait. Start up the battle. Oh no no no! Ah oh, crap! Come on! Let me do that. All right. Anyway, she's level five death. I wanted to have everybody else defend. Yeah, see? You instantly kill them. You get a lot of AP. So what you want to do is have everybody defend. Except for the... Level 5 deaf person. And then just do auto. And there you go. That's how you farm, farm AP in this game. And just keep doing it. Watch, I'll show it one more time and then that'll be it. Everybody else defending. And then Galf will just use level 5 death. Take him out. And you'll get your AP. And try to master Ranger. That's what I'm going to do. Because Ranger's having a very good ability called Rapid Fire. And it's... Not only is it very fun to use... Uh, it's like stupidly powerful as well. I might not. I don't know if I want to learn it though right now. Like, that might be a little bit overpowered at this point in the game. I might have to like learn it, but then not use it. I don't know how powerful it is at this point in the game. I we'll just have to see. If it if if it's too powerful and I'm defeating bosses too quickly, then I'll just not use it. It's, it is like stupidly overpowered though. Alright, anyway. Especially if you're dual wielding. If you're dual wielding, it's even more powerful. Um, but anyway. I'm going to grind some AP. And then we'll continue on through Castle Ball. Alright, I'm back. And 
Learn rapid fire with both Ferris and Bart's. There we go. Got that. Um, and I'll show you what rapid fire does. I do want to have a chemist uh, character, so I want to get... I think I want to make Ferris a chemist, I think. And I guess I could set rapid fire on, oh, it's fine. Actually, this is something pretty funny that we uh, I can show off real quick. Actually, I don't know if it works with a dancing dagger, though. Ah, oh, crap. In this battle, I'm just going to have to do... I want to get a battle against two of them. Gonna use level five death here. And let me I switched Bart's back to a ninja. Okay, here we go. So let's do let's do rapid fire with Okay, it doesn't actually work with the dancing dagger, okay. But anyway, yeah, four attacks. Did they nerf it? Hmm. But since the ninja dual wields, he attacks eight times. So it's kind of... They might have nerfed it though. Because I don't remember it being that weak. Oh no, they're in the back row. That's right, I forgot. It's because we're in the back row. I'm stupid. Now let's do rapid fire. These things have a lot of defense, though, so it's like... Yeah, eight attacks. Kind of... Kind of insane. I think it's reduced damage, though, I'm pretty sure, but... It still overall does more damage... Than just doing one regular attack. Pretty powerful... Ability. Anyway, we're good to continue on now. I just wanted to get that. We want to change our formations here. Put these three in the back front row. Um, the problem with Chemist right now is it's going to be pretty bad. Like at this point in the game, it's pretty bad. But um, as we get more items for the Chemist, it'll be a lot better. I don't have enough items for it right now, for it to be good. But, it's one of the best classes in the entire game, in my opinion. Like, a lot of the strategies to beat certain bosses require a chemist. Well, not really in this version of the game, probably, but in the Game Boy Advance version, where you had the extra content. Uh... That game, you definitely need a chemist and cer against certain bosses. Now that King Galif has returned, I know things will turn out all right. Lady Crow is at the top of the tower. I could have sworn I heard her crying. Not long after she was born, both Krill's parents went to save a Windrake in the Glossina Desert. They were never heard from again. Oh, we do have shops here. I need to buy some high potions. Now they got plenty of money. Matter of fact, I'm just going to max out on high potions. Because <laughs> why not? I need to buy some Phoenix Downs too. I'll spot some ethers if I wanted to. These are used for the... Um, by the chemist. <clears throat> I 
I don't want to buy too much because I need to buy weapons and armor and stuff too. <clears throat> Except castles put it by a super strong barrier. Can't even get close to it. Okay, we already have all that stuff. Okay, you could buy a you could buy gauntlets here. Go and buy a pair of those. I'm gonna equip those on my Mystic Knight. If they're better, that is. Yeah, they are better by a lot. Plus three defense, not bad. Okay, I already got all these spells, apparently. There's a hidden path over there somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe I have to go upstairs and then go back down, maybe. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Come on, didn't mean to do that. I want to get in the middle. Nope, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Figured there would be. Okay, here we go. I figured it out, guys. Angel robe. That's the final chest in this area. When you optimize your equipment, it only takes into account attack and defense values, not other effects. It's a convenient feature, but one must be careful... Less items will, with useful enchantments, but lower stats be removed. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want an elven mantle or a gold hairpin to be unequipped at an inopportune moment. Now, would you? Yep. Let's see. Angel robe, boost stamina by five. Yeah, that's fine. Clothing that negates poison and protects against poisoning. Negates poison and protects against poisoning. <laughs> that's weird wording, but I guess it kind of makes sense, I guess, a little bit. Like, it negates poison damage and po you can't be poisoned is what it means. Should say negate poison damage and negate poisoning is what it should should read. Xtef has really been giving our men a beating. Now we don't have any more so any soldiers left. Not sure where this takes us to. Oh, oops. Probably, probably at least where that item is that we need to get. So let's go back. Need to find that last item here. Didn't mean to use a switch. Well, I meant to use a switch, but I wanted to see what it did. But it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Wanted at least that final item. Found great sword. It was lying in the water. Yep, and that's the only item in this area. Great sword. A sword with a broad blade. 57 attack power. Pretty good. Alright. I'm guessing that's all we can do here. Um, I don't really know if there's anything else to do here or not. Talk to the soldiers. 
Except monsters lie and wait outside the gates. If you open the gate, monsters will pour in. There's no way I'm opening it. Gonna have to have, gonna have to let them in eventually. Alright, so I think we have to go see Krill now. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. We can go upstairs. I think we did everything there is to do. Unless there's something hidden here I don't know about. Actually, I'm going to end the video here. We're at 25 minutes, so... I'll end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll head upstairs here, and then I'll end it. And we'll talk to Krill in the next episode, and... See what happens. Later.